Hey guys, I'm back with another late night unboxing. <laughs> Just in my basement again. Um, and before we dive into this, um, I forget what I was going to say. I am, well by the time you guys see this video, um, the other one's going to be posted that was in the works for a while. Finally getting this one. Another video just still trying to decide if I like doing late night videos or if I like doing um, just whenever I can record basically like in the morning or afternoon or at night. Um, I got this package last week and I've been holding off on recording and even unboxing it just till I got all the others. Uh, all the other videos that I have recorded, edited, and up, like a lot of stuff going on, and then you're trying to put social plans around it, and it's just a whole mess. So I was trying to fit all this stuff into my weeks, and now with job hunting and stuff, it's gonna be kind of crammed even more. On my days off, I'm gonna be you know, focusing on applying to places, and that's gonna be my main focus, so I'm not gonna have as much time to, like, work on stuff for the blog, but I am gonna do what I can, and with that said, our first package here, I can't show you, obviously, the label on this, but I'll talk about this brand as I open this package, so, this is another small indie brand that this is my first time purchasing from. I got another small haul because that's just how I roll. Um, I always buy, I always buy small hauls at a time. Just I like to kind of pick and choose my favorites because being on a tight budget. And I don't know why I'm having such a hard time tonight with everything and anything. I swear to God. Um, wow, this smells really good. A little bit of Halloween good in here. But I think I'm first gonna grab a little note in here. Okay, so I don't think I even mentioned the brand name yet. Um, so this is this brand is called Rose Garden Apothecary, and like I said, they're a small brand on. Um, small indie brand. I'm not sure how long they've been active on Etsy because their main shop or their only shop is on Etsy but on Instagram they only have like a thousand followers so I'm not sure how long they've been in business but they have a lot of really awesome products and a lot of them look I swear some of these molds look really like they could have been custom. Um, looks like she hand paints everything. Um, well, I, I'm talking about the bath bombs, but um, she even makes scrubs and everything. And I actually I think I did get a scrub. Uh, let's see. Yeah, um, I got one scrub because I want to try her scrubs, and this one I hold very near and dear to my heart with the scent and everything that's in. So, can't wait to show you guys that. And then I got the rest is bath bombs because bath bombs is kind of like my main thing that I like to feature on my blog. Um, I love creating bath art and I mean, I love bubble baths and stuff, but I don't know. I just, I feel like I don't even have one of those fancy baskets that you use for like bath cocktails that create just really cool. And um, so it makes it a little hard to do like um, using like for example lower work shower gels and stuff like I know a lot of people like put those on top like just a little bit at a time or some people like um pour some glitter on me she'll throw like a ton on just I feel like she just that's what she does so everybody's everybody does their own thing and it's whatever you know floats your boat what's your preference and um so a lot of people make like these bath cocktails and these baskets and I, like I said, I don't have one of these so a lot of times I'll just pour it directly into the bath or along with these bath cocktails. For anybody that doesn't know, um, it consists of bubble bars that you chop up but there's some people 
that also like running them underwater to spray from the top and just plop it in them. I personally like to chop mine up and then just kind of drop it in the basket because like I said I don't have a basket. And then um, I'm getting a bunch of notifications from Lana. She recently moved out to, um, I'm not going to say what city, but um, I just messaged her because she just got, she's going back to school for nursing and I'm super proud of her. She got, she aced both of her first exams here, so good job girl. I don't know if you're watching this, you're gonna be watching this, but um, kudos to you, good job. Um, so yeah, she was just messaging me, I was like, who the hell's blowing me up? But I realized, oh yeah, I said, good job. Because <laughs> I saw she like posted about her exam stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a new brand that I'm pretty excited about. I've seen Bougie Bath, which I've given a shout out to before. Um, she, she's featured a lot of her products. I think it's a she. I'm not sure the owner of this brand or if it's multiple people. It's hard to tell sometimes. Um, this is a whole new brand that I'm like not too, you know, not too educated on. So I don't want to make any guesses if it's like a he or a she that owns the brand. Um, I'm guessing it's a she. Okay, well, yeah, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> I'm reading your little note at the bottom here. It says, hi there. Thank you so much for your generous purchase. I hope you enjoy each item. This is Michelle with a cute little ghost. And we'll show the cute little ghost. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I don't know. I like dorky, cute little stickers and stuff like that. Um, I'm hoping there's little stickers on the back of them. Because my last video... Oh wait, yeah, my last video they did include stickers on the back, but I wish they included the scents more often because a lot of the times the scents aren't included on the actual um, bath bomb or whatever, but um, yeah, I had purchased this the other week and I've just been kind of letting it sit, honestly. I was refraining from opening it till I got all these videos, forcing myself to get all these other videos edited and everything before I was able to get it. Um, you know, get this video rolling. So, let's get this going here. Okay, so, I guess we'll start off with the little goodies we got here. So we got a cute, honestly, this little Halloween goodie box, or not goodie box, um, goodie bags make my day. They really do, like in my last video, um, I had um, purchased from, what was it called? Hocus Pocus Bath. And they include cute little Halloween goodies as well. And I love little surprises like that. Um, so let's see what this is. Ooh. Okay, so the first one here is the Magical Unicorn Whip Soap. Set it an orange cream circle. So that's interesting. Uh, we'll give us a sniff here. Thank you for the sample here. Yo, that's really glittery. Oh my gosh. That smells good. It kind of reminds me of like, um, I don't know, just like the bright neon color kind of reminds me of crayons. <laughs> this is like my time to record this quick. I didn't have time earlier and I had a bunch of other stuff I was trying to do today. So unfortunately, <laughs> this is the time I have right now to record and then I finally be able to see, um, boyfriend today and it's been a while so excited about that oh my gosh girl thank you so much okay I can't even express how excited I am right now Totoro has always held such a special place in my heart and I cannot thank you enough for including these cute stickers oh my gosh I love Studio Ghibli, and like I said, Totoro, oh, my neighbor Totoro has always held a special place in my heart. I used to watch him with my dad all the time, and it, it, I don't know, it's, it's still kind of our thing. We still, um, it's been a while because it's kind of a weird situation at the moment, but not going to get into that, but um, we used to watch together all the time, and it was just... 
really, really special moment for us. And that was just a movie we bonded over. So, Totoro just holds a very special place in my heart. <laughs> Nothing else needs to be said. It's just, also it's an awesome movie. So, yeah. And thank you for the soy wax tarts. It's awesome. Scent is blueberry pumpkin patch. I love all of these samples. Like, I'm obsessed with these samples. The first one, this cute little skeleton skull. <laughs> I've actually been wanting to try more, like, wax malts and stuff, but like I said, I'll actually show you guys here in a second. When I told you guys in a past video why I haven't been buying Halloween wax melts, and you've been wondering, like, if you've been wondering why I haven't been buying them, I'll explain, yeah, I'll show you why. Like, on this cute little blu-ray waffle one but um yeah in a past video i had explained that the reason why i haven't is because well i used to buy off poshmark a lot and now i'm kind of on a tight budget so from time to time i treat myself to like these wax not wax wax is on the brain now <laughs> um i treat myself to these bath products every so often to kind of treat myself and it's a good way to relieve stress and so if it's not bath stuff, it's food. You can't go wrong with food. So that's literally just what I've been doing. Um, so I'll show you guys here because I actually have the box ironically sitting near me. Um, you wonder why I never buy wax melts? Oof. It's heavy too. Get a gander on this. <laughs> I got this. Um, huge order of wax milk for one time from Poshmark from this girl that was trying to get rid of um, a bunch of wax melts for whatever reason she was just some of them were used a lot of them were just brand new and literally a whole box stuff full of them to the point where the box is actually kind of breaking apart by the time I got it here and I got up like 50 plus of them in this box for like like twenty dollars which is really good <laughs> and um yeah she was just getting rid of all of them and now i have like a life supply of wax melts <laughs> just like in this box i have so many wax melts i haven't needed to buy any wax melts for like ever since i bought these like seriously because i used to go out to um the dollar store or whatever during autumn and buy like cheap um, wax melts they have, which actually, surprisingly, the ones at the dollar store that are like a dollar, the autumn ones, are actually pretty dope. I really like those, and they have a lot of good, really good smelling ones, like the caramel, pecan, and stuff like that. I definitely try them, because I think I still have a couple left over, but I used to buy those to kind of save some money, and then from time to time I treat myself to some nicer ones, but those ones I would get at the dollar general store, or whatever, and, um, they're always like one or two dollars, which is really nice for a decent sized pack. And, um, yeah, I haven't been having to buy any wax melts for a while, obviously. And, um, there's a bunch of really cool ones I'll show you here quick. So we have, like, Jaws themed ones. Right now I have a Harry Potter themed one, Luna, in there. This is actually probably one of my favorite ones right now, and there's like one left kind of sad. It's scented in lemon curd and french vanilla and twilight. It's awesome. Um, I'm not sure if any of these are honestly, um, if they're a limited edition or what. I'm obviously not going to show all of them. Maybe I'll do like a separate video at some point showing all my wax melts. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. If you are, just like leave a comment or something. Because I have a crap ton of wax melts. And, but I don't know if that's something you guys would really honestly want to hear me talk about in a video that's kind of weird, I feel like. Um, I don't know, I mean, some people are really into wax melts and candles. I mean, I love candles, but I'm not gonna have a whole video just talking about, you know, candles. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe if you had like a whole video just all together kind of showing with your purchases, but... I don't know. I never got into doing haul videos with candles or wax melts, but I mean, if you guys are interested, I'll show you guys. 
I just didn't think you guys would be interested, but I can show you guys if you'd be interested sometime. Um, but that, <laughs> to explain if anybody's been wondering why, is why I haven't been buying any Halloween wax melts. And I was really close to getting some from Twisted Lore, like Creature from the Black Lagoon and stuff, because, um, but I, I restrained because I kept reminding myself, you have a shit ton of wax melts just sitting in that box right there. You, you really, you don't need any more. <laughs> and, uh, if anybody's wondering, I do have candy corn in my beanie. My beret, actually. I always see beanie. Um, just out of habit, because I do have a lot of beanies. Awesome. And then I do have a couple berets, and I just got in the habit of seeing beanie, so. Hence, you know, but. I'm just blabbering on like usual. So excuse me. Um, I guess to show. Oh, everything's packaged really well. Um, yeah, guys, this this is how you do it. This is how you package stuff. Look at this. Honestly, like I respect this a lot. Like, cause nothing. It's all like really packaged safely. I mean, I I love a lot of my other brands here. Like Mail and Moon Mystic, Southern Sky Beauty, um, Lore Works is a new reason why I've really come to love, um, Bath, um, Hocus Pocus Bath. I was really impressed, but I haven't tried out the products yet, so I can't really give an honest opinion yet how I feel about the products. Um, so far I'm really impressed with this brand a lot. Um, from what I've seen, their demos and stuff too, their demos have been pretty cool. Um, I've actually been seeing more people buying from this brand than, um, Hocus Pocus back. Hocus Pocus seems like it's more starting out, um, so it's a little bit more newer than this brand. Like, this brand's been around for a while more. I'm, like, flinging these scissors at these <laughs> at you guys. Sorry about that. Um, so the reason she sent me those stickers was because... I can kind of smell through this, it's crazy. Or I don't know if it's just because she had the storing maybe buy a bunch of bath products and that's why it smells like that, I'm not sure. Um, but the whole reason she sent me those stickers, which thank you again by the way, I am gonna like save, savor those and just like keep them forever and ever and ever. Um, I love them so much, thank you. But the whole reason I got this, those stickers is because I got this scrub and I'm so excited. It's Rose Rose Garden Apothecary's um, Total Rose Whip Soap Scrub. And the description is a creamy and foamy whip soap scrub with the scent of sweet hazelnut with the richness of buttery vanilla cream. So let me just start off with saying, for anybody that knows me, knows that I'm obsessed with hazelnut scents and hazelnut coffee, it's seriously like my jam. So, super excited smells awesome and it has the cutest little acorn in there <laughs> for anybody that watches film they you know just the significance of this and I'm kind of interested to why they chose purple because well I think it's because they chose they have a little purple umbrella there from that he has from the film but Maybe because it's kind of similar to like a grayish color, but they didn't want to do like like a gray color because it'd be kind of bland. So I'm guessing that's why they did like a purple because it's kind of more fun. Um, I really do like their glitter usage. The only other brand that has come close to just with being awesome with their glitter usage, is glitter usage as well, with Southern Sky Beauty. I really admired their glitter usage that has just been in their recent products smells really bomb but I'm awesome <laughs> I'm awesome I'm glad that I was able to purchase from these guys because I like I said I've seen a lot of awesome things from them and I'm really excited to see how these bath ones especially um, just work out and I'm excited to get some pictures with these guys really really excited I gotta be careful with this bubble wrap. You guys know I like to see this. Mm. 
Okay. But yeah, um, that lip scrub was a Studio Ghibli lip scrub. It's bad, but I totally forgot that I got three bath bombs, even though I looked at that order sheet. I was thinking I only had two in there. Oh, sir, what are, what are you doing with your life? Gosh. Okay, so, man, everything drops so nicely. I think actually... Out of every brand that I've purchased from, you guys package your stuff the nicest. I will say that. And that is a lot coming from me. <laughs> um, yeah, like everything bubble wrap, like everything packaged so nicely. Um, like it, it really shocks me actually how nicely it's shipped. Um, but I think she did it like this because. She doesn't have it in a box with like those jelly bean things, so a lot of times what they'll do is bubble wrap everything, which personally I'd rather have it bubble wrap, but I know it is more expensive, so when um, sellers go out of their way to bubble wrap everything like this, I think that's awesome. Like that's, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, well I love this. I love this little, um, little board it's on. <laughs> it's a cute little, it's different. I've never seen anybody do this before. It's really unique. Um, so this is the Roasted Marshmallow Scented Bath Bomb. And the little nickname, I thought, I thought that's what it was called. The Roasty Bath Bomb. It's called a little thing here, which I think is cool. It's just like, I'm totally going to just say Roasty Toasty in my... <laughs> my description bio when I post this I'm like the roasty toasty bath bomb um but it's the roasted fire roasted marshmallow scented bath bomb um it has all the basic ingredients for a bath bomb um has shea butter in it which is pretty cool coconut oil I love coconut oil in my bath bombs actually so that's a plus you guys are winning me over already <laughs> I love coconut oil in my bath bombs um even with Man on the Moon, that's why I love their bath bombs. A lot of times they'll have coconut oil or um, coconut oil frosting even on the top. And it, it makes my skin feel amazing every single time. So, um, what I just found out recently actually on one of my stories, or what, not one of my stories, somebody else, somebody else's stories that they posted. It was just today actually. Um, I found out that citric acid in a bath bomb is what makes it fizz. So I was wondering before, like, what what is the citric acid for? Because when you hear citric acid, you're just like, oh, do I really want to bathe in something that has citric acid in it? You're just kind of like, you know, like, stuff that makes you wonder. But it's actually what makes the bath bomb fizz. And as far as I know, like, it's, you know, safe. Because <laughs> obviously, you know, why would you, you know. But I think even the sodium bicarbonate is something with, um... I read up on this today too, somebody posted in their story as well, um, cause there was somebody showing how just the whole process of making their bath bombs, they were showing just everything that goes into it, and um, it wasn't the fizz, it was, I can't remember quite what it was. I'm sorry guys, I, I watched all these today and I thought it was really interesting and I wanted to share with you guys, but now I can't even remember. Um, they have Epsom salts in this too, which is interesting. Um, I know some brands do this as well, but I've only actually seen like two now do this. But this bath bomb is gorgeous, I thought it'd be perfect for autumn once Halloween kind of goes by. I was definitely going to use this. So unfortunately I won't be using it for a little while, but it's so cute <laughs> and I definitely want to save it for autumn because I love autumn fall Hence why I'm wearing like mustard orange colors today. Ooh. I did not just drop that. Well it's carpet anyway so we're good. Um, I'm wearing one candy corn. <laughs> but it does smell, actually it does smell really good kind of smell like a s'more kind of scent. I've been buying a lot of s'more scents lately for whatever reason. Okay, so we'll put this one here. 
and then I think this is the best one for last, the one, the one I was excited for the most. I can get it out. Okay. I always forget what this one was. Oh, I know what this one is now. I can't believe how to purchase this one. It's horrible. I really forgot to purchase this one. I thought it was really cool though, and I did want to get some Halloween ones that I could use in the spirit of Halloween here. And I want to make sure that I got all these other videos up and done here so I could get this video done and then just record these already because I want to film these so bad. It was when I saw these, I knew I had to get my hands on them, but I had to wait till the PA where I'd be able to get them. So you do an awesome podcast and stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, this one's good too. Okay, so... Yeah, I actually really like sit on this one a lot. I think more than the other one. And, um... But I do really like that one a lot too. Um... So this one is... I'm just admiring this right now because it's so awesome. It is um the Frankenstein Frankenstein's uh bride bath one. And it's just the cutest little um some like kind of like their silhouettes in front of the moon, but it's colored obviously and it has a bunch of roses there at the bottom. I thought this mold was super unique. Um it's just like a basic circle bath bomb with um some just like um stuff on top here like an app it's like a little kind of applique top <laughs> like a little thing you kind of like apply on the top there i'm not sure exactly what it's called but i'm not sure if she did the mold herself for this design i want to say that she did even this one is very unique. Now, I haven't seen anybody do this, but I'm not sure if it is a mold that you can buy somewhere. Um, but yeah, all, this, like I said, all these designs seem super unique, so I'm wondering if she actually does do the molds for these. Um, she definitely does paint them. I can tell that. Um, she definitely does hand paint them, and it's all very simplistic hand paint jobs, but they're actually very, ex they're executed, well, they're executed nicely, so I applaud you for that. Um, yeah, I really fell in love with this design. The first one I saw actually was the next one I'm going to show you guys, and then I saw the roasty toasty one, and I fell in love with that one, and then I saw this one, and I knew I needed this one. And this one, why the reason why I'm obsessed with this is scented and juicy blackberry. Um, it says notes of dewy rose, red plum, pineapple leaves, and raw sugar. Okay, tell me that doesn't sound awesome. <laughs> that is why I said that this this thing smells amazing. It smells really good. I can't wait to use this one. Yeah, so far I'm really impressed. Like really, really impressed. This bag smells amazing. <laughs> it's a bunch of different scents just trapped in that little plastic sleeve of bubble wrap. And this one I was actually excited for the most. This is the one that got my attention to this brand initially. And, um, well, like I said, what got my attention to this brand right off the bat was Bougie Bass. I think she actually had gotten to order her stuff and. I, I fell in love with it, and I knew that I, at some point I would have to buy the scrub and stuff. Unfortunately, I was able, I was not able to get the bath bomb and stuff with it, so that kind of was disappointing. But I was able to get the scrub at least, and I was able to get some of these bath bombs that were really cute. And um, I'm sorry, by the way, that I'm recording this really late. Like I said, I got it last week. It's just, I was trying to hold off from, um, 
don't know, I was just trying to get the other ones that I had up and edited, because I was already running late with those, and like I so, said, sorry about that. Normally, I, I've just been falling off lately, honestly. <laughs> I have a lot going on, like you guys know, um, so I'm trying my best to kind of stay on top of stuff, so... You, you know, I'm trying my best. I still am, you know, doing what I can, and I'm not posting as much bath bomb stuff as I want to be, especially with my favorite time of the year, but I'm trying to make up for it the best that I can. Um, I even did a really cool edit of the seance bath bomb, the communication bath bomb for Man on Moon Mystics. I was pretty happy with edit for that. Um, and I seem to get, have gotten, like, a lot of positive feedback from that, too. So I'm happy you guys enjoyed it, and I have more in store that I'm excited to show you guys. And if anybody knows of any killer clown, like, any brands that are doing killer clown stuff on Etsy or anything, like, seriously, like, message me and let me know, because I really want to do a killer clown themed bath for Halloween, and I can't find anything right now. Like, Loreworks had some stuff, and it all sold out, and, um other brands that I had seen before on Etsy, I don't see them anymore available, and I don't know if it's just me that's not finding them, but I really need a Killer Clown themed bath, guys. <laughs> I have a bubble bath, but I need like a bath bomb and a soap, at least, because Killer Clowns is like my jam, like I told you guys before, I, I need a Killer Clowns themed bath, <laughs> I need it. So, if you guys know of any brands, like, on Etsy or anything, let me know, please. <laughs> so, thank you. And with that said, we are going to end off with this bath on here. I almost popped a bubble off that bubble wrap. So, this is the one that got me wanting to buy from this brand. Like, I mean, I had seen bougie bath stuff, but this is the one that got me like okay like you know i need to buy this bath bomb and tilter stuff too this is the bath bomb that got me really excited for bath bombs from these guys tell me that isn't awesome it is the chucky and tiffany bath bomb <laughs> and um it is scented in sweet ripen berries blended with a hint of green vine and vanilla marshmallow which is a very interesting blend I love the little image on the back here even. I love all of her labels actually. I should go show you guys some of these labels. But um I feel like the glare makes it kinda hard to see, but it's really cool. Um it's just like a bloodied heart. The border is really nicely done. Um it just looks like a very bloody heart border. And like I said, once again this paint job this paint job is awesome. Um she definitely hand painted this. Um, it looks like she even maybe like etched this in. I want to say like she etched it in herself. It looks very unique because I have not seen anybody do anything like this. So, um, obviously I've never made bath bombs. I don't know everything that goes into it. I'm kind of becoming slowly educated on it. I'm trying to learn what I can because honestly, I do kind of want to get into it. Maybe trying them out at some point, making my own. I have made um, my own sugar scrubs before and I've actually gifted them for holidays and stuff, but I've never sold them. So maybe um, I got to tell my mom one day, <laughs> she's like, that can't be that hard. I'm like, well, there's actually a lot that goes into it because I've look at some of these videos and stuff watch you guys that um sell stuff like sometimes you kind of like talk about what all goes in the process and there actually is a lot that goes into it more than i realized but i do kind of want to try it out at some point just kind of for the fun of it more so maybe it will go somewhere but who knows um but yeah i, I fell in love with this design and i knew i needed it in my life especially like i said with the toter stuff too I knew, I knew I needed both of these, and I was hoping to get the Totoro one, unfortunately wasn't able to, but um, I was able to get this one in place, along with this one too, so those are pretty cool. Um, I do like the scent, but like I said, I think this one is actually my favorite scent out of all of them, including this lip scrub. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
excited to use all of these though. Um, oh yeah, it's the image on the back. I think it's really nicely executed there, really cute. I hate that my camera doesn't focus in on these things. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry guys, I tried. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Um, I thought that was really cool. And then the image on this one. It's basically the same thing that's on the front. But it's still a really unique design. I like it a lot. Excited to break that one out for Halloween. Um, and then I'm excited to bring this one out for our October, or I mean November, more so with autumn and stuff. Um, I do want to like post this one. Oh no, this guy cracked, I just realized. What the heck? He could not have just cracked. Poor guy. It's, I'm still gonna use it. Um, these things happen, unfortunately. I'm still gonna. Oh, do not lay it on top of them. Okay. Apparently, yeah. I'm afraid to put this guy. Because with all my bath bombs right now, I've been putting all of them in a little storage bucket, like a Halloween bucket. Just because um, I don't have a drawer available or anything to put them in. So I'm just gonna keep them in this bucket and then I go through them at a time. I just have like a small haul of bath bombs. I don't have quite the collection as some of you guys have. <laughs> I wish I had like a huge, several drawers to use of bath bombs, but I just have like a small little Halloween bucket in my closet. And um, I've just been kind of um, planning out, like I said, I'm trying to do it color themed, um, like color coding on my blog page. It's how I'm like figuring out which one I want to do next or what I kind of feel like I want to do next or what I could do with some of these, you know, what would pair nicely, and then I try to plan it out with, um, okay, like, it'll go nice with this bubble bar, or it'll go nice with this, you know, so that's how I've been kind of planning things out, more so just by colors, ironically, <laughs> and, um, I've also been thinking, okay, like, this one I want to do later in October, or this one I want to do soon, or something, you know, but I'm afraid to put this fire roasty toasty one in there if it gets so easily broken and stuff. I'm afraid to put this little guy in there. <laughs> I don't know what to do if he breaks easily. Seriously, like, I just put a little pressure on him with, um, he was down there sitting and I put a little pressure with that bath bomb. He, I put him on top, the Frankenstein one on top, and it pushed his poor little eyebrow down like the flame above his eye just put a bunch of pressure down on his eye unfortunately I was really excited about this one like I said it'll, it'll still turn out cool I'm sure but yeah I really do like this concept of it like on a board and then that little image is really cute I have seen a couple other brands do stuff like that I want to say faux shizzle my bath or something like that um, I've seen one of those do kind of like on boards as well um, like they have them on like a white board to kind of keep it fixated to something. I think for the more delicate ones, I want to say. So, because then I noticed that these are fine with like sitting on top of each other, but I think it's because this one has like, it's like a powdery, like the thing on top, like the emblem piece on top is just very more sensitive. And I think that's why it broke in, like, you know? So I guess that's why she had it bubble wrapped up too, because hers are a little bit more, um, delicate, I guess you could say. But I don't have any other damages. Look, I'm looking at all of them now to see if it was just me, or if it was packaging, something that happened there, or if it was, you know, the shipment process, because I've had damages in the shipment process before. That happened um, this one other time here with Man on the Moon. Um, something happened like in the, as they were transporting it through USPS because the box was caved in on the one side and that's where the bath bomb got chipped because it ran up against it. That kind of sucked. But I still did a cool video from it. Um, that was actually <laughs> the um, eucalyptus, eucalyptus bath bomb, um, twin bath bomb for Man on the Moon sticks. That actually turned out still cool. 
and um, yeah, so I was really impressed with this haul. I'm sorry I'm like always all over the place. Um, right now I'm just tired, but I did want to get this video recorded. And honestly, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't wait any longer. I really wanted to like see what was in store or in store here with this package. Um, I just, I couldn't contain myself any longer. I was so excited. Um, and I'm really glad I opened it because I'm just, I'm so impressed with everything. It's definitely one of my new favorite brands. Um, everything's just, the style is very unique. Very unique style. Um, she kind of does her own thing. I really respect that. Um, also all of the Studio Ghibli stuff, girl. You got me in love, seriously. I wish I had gotten, um, she had a little suit sprite one with like a rainbow, <laughs> like a rainbow background. I wish I was able to get my hands on that one. You have no idea. Same with the Totoro bath bomb. I wish I got my hands on that. Um, but I was, like I said, able to get this whip scrub at least because it seriously is like my childhood. Um, well, technically, <laughs> me, um, like teenage kind of preteen teenagehood I guess technically it's still my childhood but um, that's actually when I got into the Studio Ghibli movies like and my becoming kind of like a teenager into a teenager I, I've loved them ever since and um, the little stickers I got in this little goodie bag too I, I freaking love them I love the little um, soy wax melts, um, the only other brand I got soy wax melts from was Made on the Moon, and those were pretty awesome too, I haven't tried them out yet, but actually I was thinking about trying it out in this, um, wax burner down here in the basement, after, well, this one's about done, because you can only burn it for so many hours, and it, the smell is starting to kind of wear out, so, my Luna that one unfortunately it's starting to wear out and I don't want to use the last one off of that so um we'll try out the man on the moon one and see how that goes and um I'm excited to try it out because it's like a cinnamon kind of snickerdoodle scent so that should be cool and um then maybe we'll try out one of these sample blueberry ones in here I really enjoyed those but now you guys know why I haven't really been buying wax melts because um like I said, Twisted Allure had a bunch of really cool ones. Um, even um, Wandering in Wonderland had a bunch of really cool ones. I've been, wa I've been seriously putting their posts on, like, putting them through save. <laughs> like, saving their post for, like, a bunch of their boxes they've been doing. Because they have so many cool, like, boxes, pre-order boxes they do. With, like, it includes wax melts and sugar scrubs and everything, a whole mix. And, um, they had a bunch of really cool Halloween ones as well. Even a wax melt set, and I wanted them so bad, but I restrained because I have a million wax melts. <laughs> and, um, why I haven't bought many wax melts, because literally I have a craft ton right here. But, um, getting all these samples, you guys, makes you want to buy more wax melts. It's horrible, because I don't need any more, but... Uh, it makes me want to buy more wax melts because I, I do love wax melts and do love candles but I don't know I'm still kind of questioning would you guys want like a video about me talking about my wax melts because I literally have like I have drawers over there of wax melts I have a whole box here of wax melts I have some candles down here I have a whole bunch of candles upstairs I'm, it was funny because I just finally started watching Scream Queens because I was curious to what all after years of the show being out I finally watched the first episode just out of curiosity what all the hype is with the show but honestly like I can't stand Emma Roberts <laughs> um I like Evan Peters which was her husband or her fiance for a while but I never could stand Emma Roberts and even watching this show she kind of gets under my skin but, um, I mean, it has, it has good moments, but it was funny. Well, the reason I brought this up, she started off the first episode with saying, like, like, it's, what also gets me about this show is I, 
I went to a university and this shows about a university sorority and I've dealt with a lot of these girls that were in these sororities and it's pretty on the nail with a lot of these and it's kind of like an eye roll like I'm eye rolling all over the place right now um even I dealt with a lot of frat guys and um honestly all these people were so toxic and um I said this show is pretty close to replicating how all those people were in this place it's even though it's a comedy they actually acted like that for the most part and yes, a lot of universities with sororities and fraternities haze still. I was even talking to a guy in the past that was in a fraternity and he had been hazed. He's in, he's in this fraternity now, but um, he had passed initiation, but he had been hazed. <laughs> and it is a thing, guys. It's actually, you're not allowed to haze, but they do it anyways. And, um, anyway, <laughs> um, my past college days reminiscing, um, it was funny on this episode because she's like, she's like, this girl is trying to get our sorority. She, she's a candle vlogger? Like, what is that? And she looks it up and she's like vlogging about candles and smelling candles. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, is this how people view me? Do they see me as like... <laughs> As one of these people, even though I'm not smelling candles here and stuff, but it's kind of a similar concept. I'm like smelling these lip scrubs and stuff, and I'm just like, is that me? <laughs> but oddly enough, like, the, I guess technically the main character of that show, the girl with like, um, that thinks be being in a sorority because her mom was one in the past, um, will kind of bring amends to her life, basically. And be good for her. She reminds me a lot of myself, actually, because at one point I even did think like, oh, maybe I could at some point get into one, and then I figured out it's like a eight hundred dollar to a thousand dollar, like, just a pledge fee, but they don't tell you this, of course. And um, you know, they're learning a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> and um, she kind of reminds me of myself. And then honestly, like the girl that she's roommates with reminds me a lot of the girl I was roommates with for a while, and it. It was just like a whole flashback to the past. Like watching this episode, it kind of made me sad. Because <laughs> it just reminded these two characters reminded me of myself and my roommate at that time. We were roommates for a couple of years. And then she dropped out and transferred to like community college, which is actually what I'm trying to do now. Um, but. I, unfortunately we don't really keep in contact that much anymore, every so often we'll kind of comment on each other's stuff, but not so much. Um, she actually just wrote a book, which is pretty cool, so I'm happy for her for that. Um, she's been kind of dabbing at poetry, she was always really good with writing, so it's, like I said, I respect what she's got going. Um, but once again, this video is going on like an hour, I swear, every single time I record videos late at night, I always get talking forever and ever and ever, and then these videos end up being like an hour, and I can't handle this. I can't handle more videos on taking up my data, <laughs> and uh, it's too much. Uh, these long videos, guys, they're killing me. Um, it's just, it's hard to like edit stuff when your device like is so blocked up with data and then you're trying to like save on this too so you can transport it from you know and it's just it's a whole mess but anyways um i hope you guys enjoyed gotta end this video here um i was so scared my phone said 20 percent left and i thought it stopped this video and it gave me a heart attack but anyways um we gotta stop this video here before my phone dies and I gotta get some sleep because I work tomorrow. Yay. And yeah, I really did enjoy my samples. Thank you so much again. Um, I'm excited to try out this little guy down here that looks soap. And the little pack samples I think I'm actually very what I was excited most for in a trial. Um, just because I've been wanting to try out more wax melts from indie brands. I haven't really tried out many so actually i haven't tried out any yet 
I'm about to try out Man on the Moons like one of these days here, and then I'm gonna pop one of these in after I use Man on the Moons. But, um, yeah, I'd like to try more indie wax molds that I really enjoy, and I'm excited to try, like I said, um, I haven't tried one of their whip soaps yet. I did get the whip scrub, but, um, this one's a whip soap, so we'll see how we like that. And I actually do love the color orange, so it's perfect. Orange is one of my favorite colors. And I think it's very perfect and fitting with the autumn theme right now. <laughs> and, um, it was unfortunate this one got squashed somehow by myself. But, um, I'm still very excited to try this one out. Like I said, I won't be posting any, um, just videos or it being filmed for a while. It's gonna be, like, November that I'm gonna be posting that one, unfortunately. But that's just because I'm, I'm focusing on just doing Halloween content. Halloween content for now, and I'll focus on getting like this one out and this one posted too. So I'm excited to do those, and then I do want to do like this at some point too. But honestly, I probably won't even be posting a picture of this one for a while too, unfortunately, just because I feel like it's more of an autumn thing. And I mean, technically, it is autumn now, but I want to be posting more Halloween based stuff, which is Halloween approaching. So I will be posting the Totoro and the Fire thing some point in November. I'll do something cool with those. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I think that's it. Um, yeah, like I said, I was really impressed with these guys. Like, overly impressed actually. I'm I'm super happy. Um, I'm honestly more of a bath bomb gal, so like I was happy as punch to be getting all of these. Um I'll be able to kind of tell like how I feel about this brand even more like once I try these out. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to see how these guys film, how these test out, how these demo, and um, yeah, I hate to say bye, but I can't keep going here, guys. Um, and I'll catch you in the next video, hopefully soon. All right, see ya.